What's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm back at you with another video, man. New media, notification gang, God squad. It's what it is, man. I've been watching Anthony Joshua train for this Alexander Pervekian fight. I am not impressed. I'm going to be very clear about that. I am not impressed with what I'm seeing from Anthony Joshua in his training for the, Anth An the Alexander Pervekian fight. I'm not impressed. For one, they don't show enough videos of Anthony Joshua in his preparation for fights. I guess that's a you know personal thing with Anthony Joshua. He don't like to put out too many videos of him training like that. He might put out two videos in one camp. You know what I mean? The whole camp, he might put out like two, maybe three videos of him training for a fight whenever he has a fight coming up. So the two videos I did see was of Anthony Joshua hitting the mitts. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. He didn't look, his punches were sharp. He looked sharp. Let me, let me be clear about that before I go on what I'm finna go on. He looked sharp. My problem is he don't throw enough punches. The way you train is the way you will fight. I don't give a fuck what no coach tell you. I don't care what no fighter tell you. Facts is facts. The way you train is the way you will fight. Period. There's no if, ends, maybes, possibilities. Ain't none of that shit. So when I'm watching Anthony Joshua train. Now, don't get me wrong. He do all the little... uh. The circuit training, you know, all the cardio conditioning workouts, he do all them very well, you know, because he's a big guy, strong guy. He's able to do those type of workouts. But when I see him do boxing workouts, like hitting the mitts, hitting the pads, you know what I mean, yeah, hitting the mitts, hitting the bag, excuse me, it, it's not impressive to me. Anthony Joshua does not impress me when his, with, with his training. It doesn't impress me. Okay. Um, I have to agree with a lot of what I'm seeing in my comment section about Anthony Joshua. I have to agree with that. He looks a little slow. He lacks head movement. And just because you see him do a little weave here or there, that don't mean he got head movement. When Anthony Joshua throws a combination or he throws the one two. Does he do? Does he slip a little bit just in case, you know, or do we do we faint you? You know, what I mean, do we do little things like little subtle things? Anthony Joshua don't do that. He moves very well, though. I give him that. He moves very well. You know, for a guy his size, he moves very well. Where I see is a little stiffness in him. He's not relaxed enough, you know, when he throws his punches, he throws everything very tight and Real, you know, tight, stiff, you know, he's real tight, real stiff, you know, uh, you can see it in the fight hype video, shout out fight hype, because that's where I saw the video at when I was watching him train with his, with his trainer or whatever, which honestly, bro, throwing one or two punches at a time, don't get it done, bro. And that was one of my major issues with watching Anthony Joshua train boxing. He only throws one or two punches at a time when he trains. So that means when he fights, he's not going to be throwing combinations, putting two and three and four punches together. Five on a good day. Because he's only throwing one or two punches at a time. So he'll go one, two, two, three, with two, three is a right hand, left hook, you know, uppercut hook, hook right hand, you know. He'll just throw two punches at a time. He won't put his punches together. He won't go jab, cross, hook to the body, right hand over the top, jab to the head, right hand to the body, left hook to the head, right hand back to the head. He's not going to mix his punches up. You know why? Because he's not being trained and taught to mix his punches up. He's not doing enough speed drills. I'm watching this dude train, by the way. So for those who may be against what I'm saying, I watch him train. He's not doing no speed drills. You could tell because Anthony Joshua don't look no faster than he did last camp when he fought Joseph Parker. He look about the same. Speed, skill-wise, he looks the same. He doesn't look like he's gotten better. You know, when I see Joshua now, I just see 
a smaller version of the dude that fought Klitschko. I don't see him being an improved fighter. I know my boy, Tenrod the Great, is going to shit all kind of bricks on this video. But I have to be honest and, as always, non-biased with what I see. Because that's what my channel is about. It's about being fair about everybody. I'm fair, but I'm firm. You feel what I'm saying? So, I feel like Anthony Joshua ain't learning nothing new. Because when I was watching that video and I was seeing him do the weaving and all that stuff and I looked in the comment section and it was so many people who really don't have no boxing knowledge, you know what I'm saying, to where they would know that Joshua don't have no head movement. He just did that. I mean, he know how. Yeah, he knows how. Of course, he's a professional. He should know how to slip, bob, weave. That's basic shit. He should know that. But that's not a part of his own personal arsenal when he fights. How many times have you seen Joshua really slip punches or weave punches, get under punches or get under you and he's ripping your body? How many times have we seen that? Joshua has fought enough times to where we would have a, a good blueprint of his fighting style. How many fights have he has he fought where you see him really slipping punches? I mean, like really like that's his style. Like he's slipping punches, catching you, you know. How many fights do you see him really making people miss, making them pay? You know what I'm saying? And when you do see him fight, is he really putting his punches together? Or is he just throwing the one-twos and maybe throwing the third punch? You know what I'm saying? Pretty much more of a, I would say, in, in that sense, a skill for Wilder. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all Wilder do. He just throw the, the one-twos or the straight right. He don't really throw, you know three four five punch combinations you know what i'm saying he mainly just throw the one two the jab cross he don't even throw the hook you know what i'm saying i could say with with joshua i know and i've seen joshua you know throw a hook you know one two three i've seen him do the one two three combo but it's not a uh constant thing it's not a frequent thing that he does i see him a lot of the times coming forward with the jab and shooting the one twos and then fainting maybe and then he'll throw a hook you know what i'm saying but i i'm used to seeing him go one two one two left hook one two that's what i'm used to with joshua i'm not used to joshua really just putting his punches together getting you out of there i saw him do that with dillian though when he finished the dillian white fight when he got dillian white out of there i saw him do that with that fight you know and um and I can say, no, I take that back. I take that back. My apologies. When he is finishing you in a fight, that's when Joshua puts his punches together. Let me be correct. Let me be right. Let me be precise. Because when he fought Klitschko, when he when Klitschko was finna get up out of there, Joshua went to work. He did. I can't, I can't take that from him. He did. He went to work and got uh, Klitschko out of there. When he fought Dillian White and he saw Dillian White was, was on his way out, he took him out, got him out of there. The only time... Nope, because with Tackham, he didn't do that with Tackham. I didn't see him really get Tackham out of there. I saw him, like, throw one, two. He might throw a third, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't, he wasn't really, he was more precise, I think, with Tackham. I think with Tackham, he was, he was, I, I honestly say he was sharper with Tackham than he was with Parker. I honestly believe that. When I saw him fight Tackham, he looked at real sharp. You know, his punches were real nice, real crisp. When he fought Parker, he just looked like he just wanted to bully Parker. You know what I mean? He just like he just wanted to mow him down, just walk him down and fuck him up. He didn't really look like as sharp as he did when he fought Tackham. He looked like he was just more lean when he fought Parker. About it. But um, I really feel like Joshua is not getting better. He's just not. He just looks, he looks like the same guy. You know what I'm saying? Him, Wilder, Fury. Right now, all three of y'all, y'all look like the same guys. Y'all don't look like y'all progressing. Y'all don't look like y'all getting better. Y'all don't look like y'all are doing anything to make y'all better boxers. Y'all look like y'all are in great shape. And y'all ready to fight a 12-round fight. But y'all not learning the true essence of boxing. Y'all not learning the skills of boxing the way you should. Granted, I would say Joshua is probably getting the better tutelage of the three. But I still feel like Joshua has a lot more room to grow. And I still feel like it's a lot. It's still a lot of loopholes in his game. 
and the dude, the, the trainer that he's working with is not helping him fill in those holes. I could tell by watching him hold mitts for Joshua. You not throwing one punch, two punches at a time. That's not that's not good work. I didn't see that and was like, man, it's some good work right here. You know, all he was doing was jab. One, two. One, two. Jab. One, two. One, two. Hook. Hook. One, two. Jab. Cross. One, two. Cross. Hook. That's literally what the video was. Literally. I, I, was, I was actually upset about that. Because that's how Wilder trains. One, two. Jab. Right hand. Right hand. Left hook. Jab. One, two. Jab. Right hand. That's Wilder. That's how Wilder trains. Tell me I'm lying. Show me. Send me a link of a video with Wilder just going ham on the mitts. Send me a video with Wilder going ham on the punching bag. It's not there. Because when Wilder hitting the bag, it's one, two. One, two. Right hand. Left hook. They're not putting their punches together and throwing combinations. They're not. They're banking on their natural God-given ability, which is for Wilder, his freakish strength in his right hand. For Joshua, it's his tank style ability to just basically walk you down and basically bulldoze you and wear you out. Because I haven't seen Joshua really take too many backward steps, except when he fought Klitschko, he took some backward steps. But I don't see them getting better. I don't see Fury working on being a better inside fighter because he sucks at fighting on the inside. He constantly wants to stay on the outside. That's what you're good at. Granted, work on the things you are not good at. I'm going to constantly preach this. I'm going to constantly say this. Andre Ward said that's how you be great. It's not about what you do good at. We know what you do good at. We know where you where you great at. We know that. What about where you not great at? What about that? Work on the stuff you not good at. When I go to the gym tomorrow, because when I go to the gym today, I'm doing a lot of pad work today. But when I go to the gym tomorrow, I'm clinching. You know why? I suck at clinching. That don't mean I can't clinch, but I'm not the best clincher. So what I'm going to work on for this training camp, by the way, I fight November 3rd in Richmond, California. You heard it first. Your boy DT3 fights November 3rd, Muay Thai fight. It's a Muay Thai fight that I'm fighting November 3rd in Richmond, California. Wish your boy luck. You know what I'm saying? Coming home with the W. I'm training hard. I'm working on all the things that I'm really not good at this whole camp. You know what I mean? Because I'm everything else I'm pretty much good at, but I'm not good at clinching like that. So that's what I'm going to work on because I'm going to prove my point to y'all that I want to be great. And I can't tell y'all to be great, to work on the stuff you're not good at, and I'm not working on the stuff that I'm not good at because I want to be great. You feel me? So I said it to say this. I believe that trainers today are not doing what's necessary to make fighters thrive and progress. I think they're getting there. They get to a level of stardom and status and they just keep them there and they don't grow past that. They say they're growing. They might be growing financially or they might be growing as a as a man or as an individual. But as a boxer or as a fighter, these guys ain't growing because I don't see nothing like different skill wise. I don't see like, oh, snap. He, you know what I mean? So. I really feel like Joshua, I wouldn't say you need a better trainer. I just say, throw more punches, man. Put put your punches together. If you keep that up, you're going to run into somebody that's going to put their punches together. Like an Alexander Pervekian. That dude puts his punches together. He throws punches in bunches. And he's a heavyweight, dude. You're not going to beat an Alexander Pervekian throwing one or two punches at a time. Period.
Who have you known to be Alexander Povetkin throwing one or two punches? Don't worry, I'll wait, because Alexander Povetkin only got one loss. So, Joshua, I wish you luck, but I really feel like your skills is not developing. You're not getting better. And if you keep this up, if you keep this up, Wilder going to knock you the fuck out. Because he, he, Wilder is the king of the one, too. I, I, straight up, Wilder is the king of the jab cross. He's the king of that shit. You can't out one, two, Wilder. You know what I'm saying? So... Put your punches together, Joshua, because you got people that throw punches in bunches like Alexander Povetkin. Uh, I can't say Fury. Fury throw like it's the same thing, maybe two, maybe three punches at a time. If Fury put his punches together, I think Fury will be a lot more dangerous with the style that he uses. If he put his punches together, Fury would be dangerous, but he ain't about that life. Shit, if all three of these guys, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, if you guys put y'all punches together, y'all be some dangerous dudes, man. Dangerous. Like they say y'all dangerous now. Put your punches together and watch how more dangerous you'll become. I promise you. I'm not here to hate. I'm not here to shit on y'all. I'm here to tell you about yourself and just keep it real, man. This is what I do, man. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy, DT3, New Media, Notification Gang, God Squad. That's what it is, man. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I hit y'all with some hot shit, man. Follow me on Instagram at DT underscore boom. Follow me on Twitter at DBoyWS. So, man, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, DT3. New media, notification gang, God squad. That's what it is, man. One hundred.